This video is about effervescence, and what happens is effervescence leaches through cement and com concrete, and it forms like a crystal white line or whatever. This bridge was built in 1915, and we're going to take a look at it. Uh, it's called the Nicholson Bridge in uh, Nicholson, Pennsylvania. Now we're looking at the bridge, and we get down in here, and we see it where it's kind of deteriorating. See that white stuff? That's effervescence. So first we're going to look at a lot of scenes with effervescence, then I'm going to talk about it. Now this is probably one of the worst cases of effervescence i ever seen. And what's going on is seeping through the stones up on top. Here we are in Florida, and we are showing the effervescence on the wall. You see it? All the white stuff coming out of there? All through the wall here. Now we already have another brick pillar with effervescence, so this is in Florida. See how it's crystallized here? It's effervescence. Now here we have an old stone pillar, and we could see the effervescence right in here. See, it's been... And what happens is, like I said before, the water gets in here somehow, some way, and it creeps down and it forms this effervescence. So right here you can see the effervescence coming out of the walls. And you're going to notice that it's coming around the stone, wherever the stone is. And the reason for that is when you put cement in, it shrinks. And when the water gets behind the wall, it comes down the wall, and right where those cracks is where it shrinks, that's where it starts coming out. Now here's the bridge, and you see that white stuff right over there. And it's leaching down out of the concrete. So here's a good example of it right here. This is what we call effervescence. Now what happens is where the cracks are, the water's leaching down through it, and it's getting, it's leaching out of the concrete, and that's what's causing our effervescence. It's like a quartz substance. I was thinking on how am I going to explain this. Uh, this is the piece of effervescence that I got off of that uh, bridge, that concrete bridge. And this right here is the bottom of a stalactite or stalagmite, whichever. And how does this form is the water is dripping through these caves. And you can see right here, I'm showing you right now a picture of a cave, a limestone cave with stalactites and stalagmites in it. But the water comes dripping down and it, it forms these stalagmites and stalactites. And right in here you can see the crystals. So when you're looking at the effervescence, that's basically what it is. It just depends on what type of rock it's coming through, usually limestone. So that right there is what it is, and that's why it's so hard to get it off. So now we're just going to look at an example of how it gets on the brick or on into stone. Two types of effervescence. First, that seeps through the bricks or the concrete or the stonework. And right here you can see we got our joints, and we're going to pretend there's some end joints in there. We usually behind it, right behind here, some way there's water getting behind here, there's something blocking it and it's making it seep out of these cracks. So if you pour something in behind a wall and it keeps coming in, there's your effervescence. That's basically how it forms. It's just water getting behind the wall. If there's no water getting behind the wall, you probably never will see it. Now there is another type of effervescence and you usually see it on a uh, different examples and these are a couple examples I'm going to show you but what causes that is this is cold from the winter and the air gets hot and it's like condensation from an air conditioner it uh, the water condenses against the cold surface and that forms this type of uh, effervescence so I'll show you that now now here we have the effervescence on fake stone this is that cultured stone and because of the porch and because of the ch change in temperature 
and that's the snow you see it you usually see it in the winter time in Pennsylvania now this is another effervescence kind of brick building it's actually on a bank and that's because it's close to the bottom now here we have a little bit of effervescence here this is on an outside porch so to test it we get a sponge and see sometimes it's just salt it'll come right off you don't know until you test it see that came off so that's just like like salt or stuff leaching out of the cement because of the cold and the hot so just to uh, round this up this is a piece of uh, block I got down the block company and this is the kind of uh, effervescence that comes from the stalactites, stalagmites, whatever, and you can't get that off. You gotta, you gotta scratch it off. You can get the wire brush. It's hard to get off. Uh, that's the one that uh, is hard to get off. But if it's just facial, in other words, uh, it was just getting water splashed on it or from condensation then you could usually wipe it off so that's that's basically your two types of effervescence